definitely don't know him. I don't but know. But he's in Nor Norwalk, I believe. Mm. But yeah, so he he really took a t like he he would even say things even before that like you're a piece of shit. you're never gonna make it in the industry like blase blah. blah. And I'm like, what, what, like, 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 what, okay, okay, did I mention he called the cops on me? He did, and he, he knew how much I don't with the cops, and, and, and so much, so much BS just came out on this man, mm. um, and I low-key think he might be on the down low, yay, a little bit, of, a little bit gay, yeah, yeah, just, hey. usually when, when dudes do all that over extra stuff, they, like, they got secrets, you know what oh, I mean, yeah. so, he had a shit ton of them. He had a shit ton of them. And that's yeah. just like, oh, I'm not even going to bore y'all with all that. Hey, no, 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 no. No, bore us. Bore I, us. I, I, I want to ask you something. Like, so what kind of, like, what what leads you to believe that he's, uh, smoke. might be moved move like that? <laughs> move. He move. Wait, what do you mean? Said, like, that he might be, um, playing move. on the other team or he might be kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, just things I've witnessed. Right, such as, such as, <laughs> like, you know, I I get everyone has like a, me a masculine and a feminine side and things like that, but when he would get around his homies, it would just be a little bit, uh, you he, know, he, he would get wet. He used to get wet. It, it, like tight beat, like it, yeah. it, it was weird. It was it, odd, but that's just a, a an allegation and an assumption. He's dating someone now, obviously. Um, she's not me. Um. <laughs> And it's just like, you know, once you do get to me, it's kind of hard to even talk who I am. I'm not saying I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Here we I go. Talk your shit. Some, I, I need some work done here and there. But like, oh. tripping with this bitch. Whatever. So she's My, terrible. She's terrible. She's, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I don't want to, you know, hate on, I'm not a, you know, I, I'm pretty much a girl's girl for the so, most part. Let me ask y'all a question, because this is kind of a thing that we had on Monday. We talked to uh, Ify. If a man shows vulnerability, how would you perceive that man? I would... Vulnerability, but what are the intentions behind this? Is it to, like, manipulate you, or is it just because... No just... manipulation. No manipulation. He just shows a little bit of weakness, and maybe it's more than once. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that is completely fine. I love vulnerability. I have a hard time doing it myself. But if mm -hmm. someone can open up to me vulnerably, um, especially in a romantic relationship, I like for sure will be more inclined to be open as well. I love that type of stuff because it makes me feel like okay, you're comfortable around me. You you know you like you. Okay. Me, like this is cool yeah okay. it helps to build intimacy between you two and and you know make your relationship deeper than like your relationships with like other people around right because i feel like you know right. because you don't so you wouldn't see that man as less than a man you wouldn't see him as like a, a, a weakling or a kid no. that you got to take care of i feel like i feel like so so like if he so, cried so on mrs Delfire, like he <laughs> cried <laughs> first of all i just you know, right. for disclosure, I okay. cried on Mr. Delphire. Cried on, you cried on Mr. Delphire? But you was a kid, though, bro. I was 17. I was 17. Yeah. Right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, like, crying, whatever I just Showing said. your feelings. Like, that is, that is yeah. fine. I'm, like, if you doing stuff, like, throwing tantrums, like, just Oh, that's different, yeah. Like, sure just, like, do, like, I feel like that is gonna just, it's gonna naturally turn me off, but I feel like it turns men off when they see their girl slamming doors and, like, pouting her lip and being ugly, and it's like, that might be her way of, like, I mean, being vulnerable with her feelings. Right. So it's just, like, if you conduct yourself in a, in a mature way, then I'm gonna look at it as, like, okay, we're getting deeper, but if you, like, if you just being emotional and you're not trying you to, like, control you know what I'm saying, it. I'm be like, ew, like, get it together, yeah. like, you supposed okay. to be in, and we feel that way about women too. It's like, ew, like get your shit together. Like, why is you sitting here crying on the fucking floor? Like, let's just talk. And, I, and I'm gonna be honest, that's the vibe that I was getting from him, man. Okay, like, he you... wanted to be able to do that. Like, he wanted yeah. to be, able, you know what I mean, be a manipulative situation. Yeah, like I'm like. Yeah. So my thing is though, you said something about, uh, you know, females doing that slamming doors and whatnot. I, personally, me, I, I'm a slam. I'm a door slam. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I'm a... uh, I, 
I like I like I like the craziness, man. I like the craziness, man. Yeah, there's there's a level of craziness, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it, it it's, I'm growing, you know, I'm not perfect, but it's no, like, yeah. no, and, and and that was the thing with my most recent relationship I got out of what it, it started to get to the point where you know it was like <sighs> Here we go. Here we go, man. Just say what's on your heart, yo. Speak from the heart. You were talking. I'm having a blonde moment. I don't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about um. That's that bud. That's that weed. You know what I'm yeah, but. You were getting ready. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So like, it, it, it basically, I shouldn't have gotten into the relationship in the first place. It just kind of mm. like happened. Mm. Um, and I was always in her ear. With Mike? Yeah. No, I'm talking about with my um with the guy in okay, Louisiana. Okay. Um, but I'm the type of person who can have casual sex with multiple people. Like I need like if I have if I'm having sex with you, it's pretty much gonna be you and only you because I just don't like Okay, the, okay. So you're saying. things like that. So when I Oh yeah. It, it, whatever. So um but it, it essentially got to a point where I'm like, I hate myself so much and I haven't healed from my last relationship. And I just am so insecure where I don't even want you looking at any female over like on social media or anything like that. Like it, it got to that point and, it, and it's not fair for that other person. Cause it's like, I know I'm being a little too crazy. You know what I mean? So I had to like take a step back and be like, listen, bro, like I need time for myself. I need to figure out who I am again and all of these types of things. Yep. But um, he didn't take it too well course but i also I mean, virginity too you also what i took his virginity well yes yeah, a big that's a major factor right there yo that's a major how, factor yo how, how 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 old were you guys when this happened like how old was he how old yeah he's a year younger than me but we went to high school together we were in the same grade. and when you took his virginity how old was he 22 oh, hold on man that's crazy, man. Bob, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, Bob. Yo. A lot of people wait until, you know, like, me personally, I was like 25 Lies, when yeah. I lost that V. You heard? So. Yeah, 18 or 17 or something. Um, But, yeah, wow. obviously that's going to bond you to someone. But it wasn't, like, it we is. went at it because he was actually being vulnerable with me. Like, he was like, this is my biggest secret. I've never told anyone. I'm so embarrassed about it. I'm like... You can talk to me. I'm a Scorpio. Like I, I, I love secrets and I'll keep them because I'm a real ass bitch. Um, so he, fi- he finally was like one, one, one of the nights we were hanging out. He finally was like, I, I got it out of him. He was a virgin, and, and he was so embarrassed. But I'm like, bro, honestly, like that's pretty sick because most men are out here having, you know, any with anything with a pulse type of beat. So it's cool to, you know. It, like don't be embarrassed of that whatever and so i went in because we had already been friends for multiple like nine years at this point i'm like i can like show you the way basically nine years you know like on- that man waited that man waited for her he waited for that yo but that's cr- yo, this is crazy this is he cool. waited for that one crazy to me, man. yeah so hey. yeah, and it was just only supposed to be uh you know sex but knowing me i should have known um babe when you have sex and it's good you know you know even you know uh, not even just that just the intimacy before the actual like sexual acts you know just how we talk to each other and things like that yeah i think that's what makes sex good is the intimacy it's the foreplay, it's the foreplay uh, yeah, you know. yeah yeah it's like you can connect with someone on a, on a level deeper than just sexually you know having yeah. sex, you know yeah. at the mental level you know I'm not gonna hold you, man. I used to love the game. I used to love like going out there, doing all that, you know, and then like getting them all hot and bothered, whatever, you, whatever it is. And then, you right. know, I don't really care. Like, sex is sex, you know what I mean? It's not, it's, you know, it's an hour, hour and a half, whatever it's gonna be. You right. know what I mean? 60 seconds right. sometimes, you know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> it is what it is, man. I, I just like that. I like the connect, connection before that, beforehand, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> But, you know, that, because literally same, 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 same. Like, I'm not going to be out here on Tinder looking for someone to have sex with. If I have, like, a, like, if I already know I can vibe with you. Let me put my phone down. Let me put my phone. 
since you said oh, that. I, no, you good. Uh, but like, you know, if I vibe with you, and that's my problem is I <laughs> because I I'm like that. I I fuck all of my friends. Like, because I already have that connection. Obviously, I'm not like fucking a mom dating someone, but like. I'm glad. See, I'm glad you admitted that. I'm glad you admit that you fucking. Yeah, that's real. There's, there's people out here that don't admit that, man. I mean, yeah, and like it's like okay, you know that Chance the Rapper song? Um, it was on the Coloring Book. It's Summer Friends. There's a line that said where he goes, "Fucked up and fucked all my friends," and I'm like, yeah. Man. Yeah. I get that. That hits. That hits. You know, but it is what it is. I, I am. So when you say that, though, are you saying like Eiffel Tower? Are you saying like a situation like that? No. No? Oh. no? Never? No. No. You know what I'm talking about, right? Jason, you wilding. How am I wilding, yo? Listen, I've had many threesomes, but it's either been with two girls and a guy or three girls. I don't be, I don't. You yeah. said Eiffel Tower. I don't be Eiffel. I would like to be Eiffel powered. I kind of. I think that'd be pretty cool. Bessie's but, shaking it. Okay, you. Why are you shaking your head over there, yo? Me. Yeah. Does that go for you too? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think all women would like that. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Okay. No, all, I, I said all women. That's buggy. No, you're probably I, right. I, you, you are probably right. That's part of the fantasy. Like, I'm yeah. I'm saying that. That, that, that's, that's, it's an experience. I've been corrupted by the porn industry. You know what I'm saying? I've seen things that look like they would be fun to try someday, maybe one day, you know? Yeah. The the double penetration for me, though, no, ever. Never. And what, do you, it, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Like two dicks in one hole, or like uh, one in the booty and one in the coochie at the same time. That what, ain't that what the Eiffel Tower is? No. No. I no. mean, I guess it could be, but like I'd rather it be like. Eiffel Tower was the. You know what I mean, to the. Yeah, I mean, the in the in the cooter. I'm not yeah. I'm not a fan of my back door unless you put a thumb in it. But that's about it. I thought the Ivan Tower was I thought I thought that was both. I thought that was one in the one in the, one in that and one in there, man. Like it's like I mean like this. It is, but one's in the front getting their, you know, and then the other one's hitting it from the back. You know she like black man. Look how big she made a hand when she did that. <laughs> But size doesn't really matter. Well, a little bit, but like. That's bullshit. I don't know. I've had people with large ones and didn't really know how to I'm use. Talking, I've heard a thousand times from women, man. Not a thousand times. I heard that a few times from women that they said that. Man. I mean, you know, I'm not privileged, unfortunately. My, I, I can't have an, uh, a climax unless I'm being clitorally stimulated and not just having penetration unless i'm on top and riding and yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you are still young man you gotta like i don't know i, I don't know. know i'm so young but i've lived a i've lived a, i've lived a life like i've been living baby i get it i definitely do get it man I get it. made many mistakes along the way though that's what so she- busy what type of girls you like busy you mean that's that's a comp that's a, um complex What's question. Like, like, the type like, 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 like relationship or you mean like sex? uh like attractive let, let, let's attractive. say attractive yeah attracted to you mean um physically what the hell are we doing by why are so many <laughs> other questions <laughs> oh you asking you asking a broad question like that's not yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah physically 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 um i mean i, I, I like I like different flavors, man. I don't have a particular. Uh, okay, Baskin and Robbins are here. Right. Yeah. And like, I don't, I don't just have a direct. Oh yeah, I like chocolate. I like chocolate, man. Or I just like yeah. Bella Bean or whatever. You know what I'm saying it's not. Don't try to get at me like that, dog. Not that type of company, <laughs> man. Yeah, I get that, man. I like my vanilla bean. But like, as far as like body and um even personality like what type of girl all right y'all we're gonna cut it right there man thank y'all for rocking with us this is rhythm and vibe episode 13 we had your girls fallon and my own we had a hell of a conversation with them man make sure y'all tune in subscribe like and share peace rhythm and vibe